What is going on guys? This is Shrix from SmartHerd. Welcome to 23rd Ruby tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you the sample code of next and redo statements. Now, let us illustrate example for next statement first. Let's start our coding for i in 0 value ranging from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right? Let's write if statement if i is smaller than 2 and end let's put our next statement here just we have to write next I will explain you what's what I'm going to do then put s value of variable i equal to let's say interpolation i now let's save it and execute it guys here we go we are getting the output as value of the local variable i equal to 2 3 4 5 now when i equal to 0 then 0 smaller than 2 condition is true so next statement is executed whenever the interpreter encounter next it do not execute the following statement it won't execute put a statement it will directly go to this for loop again now this i becomes 1 now now 1 is smaller than true then statement is correct it's true then again next statement will be executed now again when next statement is executed the interpreter will execute this statement again now i becomes 2 2 is smaller than 2 is false so it, it won't execute this statement it will come to this statement it will print this statement so we are getting the output as 2 then 3 then 4 then 5 like this so this is the use of next statement now let us illustrate an example of redo statement we are going to make some changes here let's cut it and paste it here instead of next just write redo let's save it and execute it what the heck we are getting the infinite loop of value of local variable i equal to 0 0 0 0 and it is continuing you can check the scroll bar here it's, it has entered an infinite loop let's terminate this program now let me explain you what's happening here what is the use of this redo statement now when i equal to 0 then 0 smaller than 2 is true so this put as value of local variable i equal to 0 now whenever this redo statement is executed it won't execute the codes after this if you write some codes here it won't be executed when redo is executed then it restarts the loop it restarts the value of i from 0 1 2 3 4 5 again so in this case always whenever this loop is initiated value of i is 0 so it has entered into an infinite loop always i is 0 and this statement is executed value of variable i equal to 0 then again redo again i is 0 and the process goes on so in this way we can make use of this redo statement so meanwhile if you like what you saw guys please subscribe to my channel and please leave a comment below my video and stay tuned for the next tutorial thank you